Hi Virgo, what is up guys? I hope you're keeping healthy and safe. A very happy holidays to all of you. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Let us see Virgo what messages come through for you. Let us see what you need to know, what you need to hear. When it comes to January 2022 overall energies, what you need to uh, prepare yourself for, what are the transitions happening in your life in this month and uh, Towards the end, we're going to have a couple of advices, especially for overall year 2022, a very important message that you have to bear in mind as you move forward and enter year 2022. Then we're going to have love advices, right? At the end, we're going to have love advices for year 2022. So stay tuned with me and we're going to have a lot of, a lot of advices and a lot of, lot of messages for year 2022 now, right? So starting with January 2022, let's see what messages you need to know, what you need to hear as we enter this uh, year. Okay, we're starting with this deck. We're going to have an overall advice first. Virgo. So we have in the near future so you're thinking about something which is unfolding for you positively in the near future you definitely are about to get some result here we also have ask for help from others so we will try not to be uh, doing everything on your own right if you feel that um, you can get information and get some help from the right people find the right people talk out and we have romance virgo that's interesting we have romance brewing up and i've been getting this card for virgos like from past few weeks i guess and you guys are definitely heading towards something very romantic and exciting and i think it's already going on isn't it let me know in the com comment section what's happening here on romance front Virgo, let us see what messages you need to know. Virgo, January 2021. What you need to prepare yourself for and what's coming up for you. Oh, wonderful. Amazing. Interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. We have the devil here as well. We have the temperance. So temperance and devil together. Very interesting energy. But as we enter this uh, new month and this new year, I see that uh, in the recent past, there were some naive energies that you've dealt with. There were people trying to approach you. I see apologies. I see uh, maybe some calls for reconciliation also but specifically there were apologies there were conversations but at some point of time you felt that though there is apology though there is communication there is lack of effort lack of willpower to move forward chariot is coming in as the challenge so i see that you felt somehow or right now as you enter this month you might feel sometimes that though you're very happy where you are you're sitting in a very fulfilled energy january 2021 overall is january 2022 overall is going to bring in some kind of abundance happiness and wish fulfillment for you but i see chariot energy shows me that you feel or you sense sometimes or you might feel or sense sometimes that the people in your surroundings are not really eager to take things forward as they appear right chariot chariot as a challenge shows me the willpower the commitment and the feeling of being victorious in a situation heading in a direction with all confidence right that is missing or maybe right now it's coming up as a challenge because you want that determination in someone's energy or you want that determination in your own energy which is missing right now right so this can challenge you that forward movement that that craze of achieving something might be a challenge this month overall i see you sitting in a good position and you're enjoying your place maybe some apologies might be coming through you were expecting some people to come back and apologize so i see those people are returning right as i see you moving forward you might encounter some unhealthy attachments or unhealthy situations we're going to clarify what the devil is eventually i do see that um, you feel that you're feeling trapped into something or you know there's something which is unhealthy this can be codependency this can be some attachment some unhealthy connection we're going to clarify right the root of the situation is hanged man for some of you i see you might not know right now or maybe that's the thing that you're unaware of somebody is uh, stuck somewhere 
right this person is probably um, I see they are just hanging in and uh, they know the situation is get, getting delayed they don't want it to get delayed but I see probably you are feeling this or the one uh, who is in this situation with you the the environment you can say I see the root cause of this whole situation is delay someone is stuck someone is waiting for the right time someone feels that I cannot move forward or maybe you are feeling that I'm stuck and I can't do anything right I'm just hanging in there and nothing is moving forward I see on your mind or maybe uh, as we see the things coming towards you what's coming towards you from the universe what you need to be careful of here is the five of cups energy Virgo do not overthink about anything I see that there will be moments you might feel that I've missed this opportunity or I you're looking at the broken cups or you're just looking at the things that have moved that that have happened in the past and you're still sitting and regretting about them or thinking about them or you know reliving those moments in your mind thinking that I could have done it better hence and so forth you are not looking about uh, looking towards the fulfilling cups behind you Virgo so you need to turn around and look at the better things look at the better cups look at the better opportunities that you might be missing right now thinking about this build cups or opportunities right as we move forward I see towards the end of um, this month as the outcome I see the devil so for at some point in time Virgo you might feel uh, some kind of agitation from within some kind of unhealthy feeling from within devil shows me that you are probably thinking that someone is trying to trap me and you are uh, giving a re reaction to it or simply devil is somebody in your surroundings who is having a little unhealthy outlook towards something so be careful with that we're going to clarify of course first and the foremost thing that I want to know is why is hanged man coming as the root of the situation things getting delayed you know something is happening in front of you but you cannot you know it's like a feeling that I cannot get up and grab it you know we have the queen of wands interesting the world and the six of swords okay so uh, Virgo I feel that uh, there is a feeling within you for some of you I'm getting this message that you don't want to uh, get stuck somewhere right hangman shows me that there is a feeling that I don't want to stay here forever I feel that this this thing is never going to get solved I'll, I'll just stay hanging in there so maybe there is a feeling within you there is some kind of push maybe some some advices are coming towards you from the people you rely on there is a feeling that I am so good you are so beautiful you're so attractive why to stay stuck over something which is not moving right now right which is totally not moving right now instead just let it go close the chapters finish off the stuff and move on right this can be uh, a thinking that is um, probably you are thinking right now this way or there are people in your surroundings who are advising you to not to stay stuck into something which is having very less possibility of moving forward and possibly getting trapped somewhere right so you want to end something you want to explore more you want to be passionate you want to be attractive you know you have a lot of opportunities coming your way and you want to explore a lot of them right it's go get a kind of energy very passionate energy and because you embrace the queen of wands energy you want to uh, end some cycles which are stagnant right you want closure at some point you might feel that i want closure here six of swords shows me that there is a feeling i want to move forward right so this is the root of the situation probably that's why and at the same time when you see something is not moving forward and on the other hand I'm getting a lot of opportunities from outside you might feel that it's better to just shut off something and move on right but what is coming towards you from the universe is that somebody who is very regretful somebody who is um, regretting the opportunities being missed I see apologies here son okay interesting seven of cups and the hermit interesting okay so um, Virgo, I somewhere see a lot of options, right? This month, maybe you're being bombarded by options or there's a lot of computer, uh, com I'm sorry, confusion surrounding a specific topic, spe specific situation going on. I see that overall it appears happy and jolly. You, you're very independent. You, I see a bright energy in your aura here. But when it comes to a specific matter that hurts you, right? I see there is a specific thing that hurts you. Uh, another message I'm getting here, uh, Virgo, that do not trust anybody like that. 
listen to the people who are giving you good advices and do not listen to each and everything that is coming towards you because i see some confusion being created on your mind which is ultimately leading to unhappiness i see when you are in your personal space you're very happy you're jolly nine of cups in the sun but when you see the outside environment can be a specific person who pollutes your mind or can be a specific person who has a big impact over your day-to-day uh, -day living i see this person say something or does something that really hurts you so try to be a little independent of such advices that hurt you and instead just be instead just be with the people be in the energies that make you feel free and happy right i do see that forward movement is a challenge things are really getting delayed in your whole scenario right now but you don't you guys don't have to stay stuck there right for a lot of you i'm getting this message that you guys want to end or wind up something and um, move towards something that is more promising but you know what sometimes if you are continuously thinking that I don't want to get trapped here, I don't want to get trapped here, I want to do more, I want more options, I want to, you know, I want to explore more and I, that quickness, that impatience sometimes lead to a bigger problem. So be very careful of not being impatient, be patient with yourself, let the divine do its work. So what is this devil energy, what is this unhealthy environment I want to know for Virgo? what you need to be uh, careful of eight of pentacles ten of swords and eight of swords i do see here virgo that uh, you guys are overthinking right overthinking this uh, month i see ten of cups here there is a connection in your surroundings that really makes you feel happy i see you want to work over it this can, can be some kind of family environment your happiness the people you enjoy with very light and jolly energy for some of you, I see I'm getting this message that you want to avoid something this month. For a lot of you, I'm getting this message that you want to free yourself from something, from a thought, from a feeling. This can be an emotion. This can be simply the words other people are throwing at you or I should say the kind of opinions other people are throwing at you. I'm getting a very strong message for you, Virgo. Do not let other people control you this month do not listen to the people who have a tendency to control right you might feel trapped a bit and you might feel like pushing away such people this month because i see 10 of swords you need to put a full stop over something virgo this month you really need to put a full stop over something that is unhealthy for very few of you this can be more than one parties why i'm saying that because i see queen of wands energy and there is a continuous quest within you this month that i need to explore more i need to see more i can't i cannot settle here right or cannot i cannot settle for this particular opportunity right now but because things are not moving forward and things are getting delayed this might bring a lot of confusion on your mind this month right so you have to be very careful with that we're going to have a clarifier we're going to have a card of advice for Virgo. We're going to have a card of advice for Virgo. And towards the end, we're going to see what is this overall year bringing for you, Virgo. Emotions are running high. Your dreams need a practical plan. Virgo, again, I see that there is some kind of confusion surrounding you, which you, which you have to take over this month. This can be overthinking. This can be simply too many options. Maybe you're just getting bombarded by options and you feel puzzled. There are a lot of emotions at once you guys have to think about taking dealing with situations piece by piece i heard this message for somebody virgo eight of pentacles is your strength this month so your hard work and your focus your concentration is going to be very important this month pick up stuff piece by piece conquer problems piece by piece step by step right and i see once you start doing that you might put a full stop to a lot of things that, that you don't want to entertain in your life. Devil with the Ten of Swords is actually a good combination because something that was trapping you for a very long time, something that was unhealthy and chaining you from a very long time, I see there's a feeling that I need to put an end to it, right? You might feel a little trapped for a moment in that situation, but I see eventually it's for your good, right? Emotions are running high, but your, your dream needs a practical plan here. Last but not the least, I see your hard work is paying off. Can you see this? Eight of Pentacles energy. If you are determined to work through something this month, Virgo, I see you guys can definitely make up to it, right? So your hard work is paying you off and nothing is yet set in stone. So I do see that some major changes might happen in the near future. Whatever right now you're experiencing is just blurry and it's confusing, but wait for the divine time. I see middle of, I see eight to 10 days, honestly. So 
5th, 6th, 7th January time period, 8 to 10 days. Things are going to start. Things are going to start resolving for you. But till the time, you guys need to calm your calm your emotions down, and at the same time, do not let any negative emotion take over you. Especially, be very careful of what kind of people you entertain this month, what advices they're bringing to you, and how they're trying to manipulate your environment. Right. So be very careful of such kind of people. Very interesting. Now we're going to see what uh, you need to hear for the month. I'm sorry, for the year 2022, right Virgo? What do you need to hear for the year 2022? So, messages for Virgo for year 2022 overall. What is this new year bringing for you Virgo? The keywords you need to remember as you enter the new year. And you have to keep this in mind throughout the year. Okay. We have loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. We have peace. Amazing. I am the being of love and I release all the negative energy. We have growth. Amazing. Amazing energy. I want to expand my consciousness, consciousness and awareness. So uh, an advice that is coming out very strong for this year, 2022 is that sometimes uh, we find answers in silence right that's what I heard sometimes uh, we are in the middle of a chaos what we truly need to make better decisions is peace of mind so when you are in center of some chaos when you're center of a situation where you feel that a lot of stuff is conflicted and I don't know what I can do here my growth is getting hampered my forward movement is getting hampered step back Pull your step out and take a break. Go for a vacation. Stay away from people who are putting opinions in front of you, throwing opinions at you, right? Take a step back from them. I see in this time period, your lone time, the, the time you spend with your own self, probably the hermit energy you guys carry is going to bring in peace and answers, right? That will be the phase that will help you release negative emotions, release negative energy and learn to come back give it back you know answer back and stand for yourself and trust me that is going to lead you to your real growth i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness so virgo big advice that you have to keep in mind this year is that you guys shouldn't be letting any kind of chaos or any kind of conflict from the outside environment take over you or take over your mind take over your emotions rather step back Spend some time alone and look forward for ideas in the peaceful environment. That is actually going to lead you to your success. Can you see this? I know that there is no greater goal than to love and that's the success you're looking for, Virgo. So ultimately success is going to be yours. I see we the fortune energy here. I see the growth you want is going to be there very soon. But do not let any outside chaos impact you. Talking about love, Virgo, okay. Talking about love, what you need to keep in mind as we enter the year 2022 and overall, uh, when it comes to love, what you need to remember, right? When it comes to love, messages, advices and love. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I saw romance in the beginning. I see this seer is going to bring in a lot of passion and romance in your life, right? So uh, they're going to, they're, there are going to be a lot of light moments. You might be spending good time with your partner, right? Or some dating scene might be on. So let that environment come to you. This could be the one, my God, Virgo. So when it comes to love, when it comes to romance, you might find your real partner this year, right? If you're still in search of somebody, this could be the one. And if you have already found the one and you were confused if I should be putting a ring over it or if I should be making it official or public, you, you have already met your romantic partner you seek. So Virgo, your person is already there right you just have to let these clouds of confusion and chaos to settle down and i see the real one you want to spend your uh, life i should say you want to spend your maximum time with i think this person is already there and trust me it's going to be full of passion and romance right what else we have made the effort 
So a big advice is also coming up here, Virgo, that great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Sometimes you have to make effort, you have to push things forward, you have to uh, come up front and uh, confess your love, make that person realize what they truly mean to you and you have to be there for somebody, right? So. I see this year is very important when it comes to love, when it comes to partnership and when it comes to maybe long term assistance, bonds, long term um, affairs. What would you say that uh, bond, contract, marriage, commitment, right? Whatever you are looking for this year, if you want to uh, ascend your love life, if you want your love life to ascend this year, Virgo, just make the effort and I see your efforts are going to be rewarded and ultimately we have success here. So Virgo, this is an amazing energy that I see heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with one another. So be open when you talk to your partner, be very vocal about what you truly desire when it comes to a relationship and have heart to heart honest conversations because I see that is definitely going to take things forward and I see that's the biggest effort that open conversation is going to be the biggest biggest effort from your side this year to the challenges and the problems you might face in your love life right so this is an amazing energy right these are the advices I have these are the advices I have for you Virgo thank you so much guys for watching bye bye